Switch and the bots were surprised to see how low their Violum levels had become. We'd better find some Violum soon. My Violum reserves are so low I can't fly far. I've got an idea that could help. Switch knew that Violum crystals vibrate at their own unique frequency. She just needed a way to listen for that frequency. This device will tell you how far away you are from any Violum. Ruby took off and headed out across the planet. It wasn't long before Switch's device began picking up traces of Violum buried beneath the sand. Hello. So I'm going to show you how we can play this Violum tracking game. So I've got two, two micro bits here. One is set up to be the tracker, like the one Switch made in the story and one is standing in for our violum that's giving off a frequency. So if I press the A button on the tracker, you'll see we're getting a readout there. Now it changes slightly each time. We've got minus 44, and that's because these two are very close together. If I just put that one a bit further away and try again, let's see what we get. So minus 53. That's because the other one is slightly further away. So I'm going to show you how we can use these uh, to play the violin tracking game. All right, so I've got three cups here. They're all identical. They don't necessarily have to be. And my two micro bits. This one acting like the violin, that's the one that's going to be hidden. And this one we're going to be using for the tracking. So. I'm just going to put this under there. Now, we know it's under there, so this is just for testing. And if we hold this up close and press, we get minus 44. So if it's in the 40s, then we can guess it's possibly close. So if I didn't know where it was, and then I come and hold it over here, so we know that's now into the 50s, we're getting further away, and this one, and that's in the 50s, it's further away. So this one is giving us the closest reading, and we could guess that the micro bit is under there. But we know that because we saw it going under there. So this time I'm going to, to hide it, and I'm going to mix the cups up, and when we come back, We'll have a go at finding it without knowing where it is. Okay, we're back. So I've given them a good mix up and I actually don't know where it is anymore. So let's get the tracker and we'll start this end. Press, see what kind of reading we get. Okay, 49, it's in the 40s. So that's a maybe, but by this one, 46, okay. Let's try this one, and that one's 44, so I would guess it's probably under there. Let me just do double check. This one's to 48, so we're moving away from it. 46, let's go back to this one. 44, okay, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be under that one, and I genuinely don't know, so let's have a look. Ah, yes, so it works. Okay, so that's how you can play the violin hunting game. Um, so it's obviously a lot harder if those cups are a little closer, so maybe harder to get a different reading between, so we know it's there now, this one, if I'm holding it here. So we're getting the same reading because these are right next to each other. Perhaps if I come around this side, what would I get? So then it's gone up. So you can make the game easier or harder by changing the position of the cups. Um, you could detect by holding it on top of the cup. So we're getting the 44 reading there. Holding it on top of here, we're getting 44 because they're so close. But if they were 
separated a bit, then we're probably going to get, yep, so we're into the 50s now. And of course you could have more cups, you could even have two micro bits to find. I'll leave that up to you. So I hope you have fun playing the Violum tracking game. And next I'm going to go over the code that you would need to make it. Hello, I'm Luke and welcome to this SwapBots Microbit tutorial. To get started, we're going to be using the make code site. Now you might be familiar with the, the standard makecode.microbit.org site. And if you want to use that, that's fine. But at the moment, I'm actually using their beta site. So it looks like Microbit are bringing out a new version of this. And you can access that by forward slash beta and I'm just using this to get familiar with it I'm guessing this might take over from the main site um, sometimes when things are in beta there are issues but I haven't had any problems with it and it's not too different from from the existing site so you don't have to use the beta but I'm going to for now so I'm going to start off with a new project and Right now we're going to be making the, this is kind of the micro bit for the violum. So this is the micro bit that you will hide, that you'll be searching for. So it's acting as the violum buried beneath the sand. So we don't need forever. I'm going to have the on start block though. And because we're using radio, we're going to set up our radio group. Radio group can be any number you like. I'm just going to put 13, but this must be the same number as you use on the receiver. And if you're using other micro bits at the same time with radio, you probably want to have a different number from them or they're going to talk to each other and get confused. So we've set up our radio group. Now the next thing we're going to be listening out to see if we've received a message via the radio and I'm going to be listening for a string. So when I receive a string, and the string is um, kind of letters or letters and numbers, or normally we would think of a word. So we're lis listening for a string, and I need to see what is that string. So I'm going to go to logic and if, because I'm going to check if something is true. In here, I'm going back to logic and bringing in the equals block and I want to know if this received string is equal to whatever it is I'm listening for that I want it to be. So on this side I'm going to put this variable in whatever message I received and I can get that from variables bring this block into there and you should see now it's complaining there's something it doesn't like and if you click on here this tells you what the problem is and the problem is that this is a string and this is a number so it doesn't like comparing or checking if a string is a number um, kind of if a word is a number so it doesn't like that it's looking for another string here and if we if I click in here I can type numbers but if I try to type words, nothing's appearing. I can't type letters into there. I need to go to advanced and come down to text. And here we have a text box. And that text box needs to go into there. And now, now I can type letters and words. And the string that I'm going to be listening for Again, it could be anything, it just has to match um, whatever it is you're going to put on your sending micro bit. And I'm just going to use the word search because it's searching. So if the string, the word that it receives is equal to search, then something is going to happen. What do I want to happen? Well, this micro bit is going to send back and say yes yes there's some violum here 
So I'm going to be going to radio and I'm going to send back a string. And the string I'm going to send is violin. So all this is doing, once the micro bit's on, it's sitting there, it's listening, listening for any signals from any other micro bits that are in group 13. If that signal is a string, so not a number, and if that string is the word search, it's going to reply. And it's going to send back the string violin. So the other micro bit will receive that and know, yes, there's some violin there. And that's all we have to do for this micro bit. This is the one that will be hidden. This is acting like the violin. So we'll stop here. You can save this and download to your micro bit. And then we'll move on to the, the second part, which is the micro bit, like in the comic strip, the one that Switch has made that Ruby is out using searching for violin. Hello, welcome back to part two. Hopefully you followed part one where we set up our hidden micro bit and this is going to be the micro bit used to find that one. So again I'm using the make code beta site. Gonna go to new project and again we're not going to use the forever loop in this one. Like before, the first thing we want to do is set up our radio group and if you remember we had 13 as the group before. If you use a different number, you have to use that same one here. But they need to be in the same group so they can talk to each other. And first thing I'm going to do here is have an input. And just to keep it easy, I'm going to use button A. And what we want to do here, when you press button A, you're going to send out a signal looking for any hidden violin. So that's basically looking for the other micro bit, where, wherever it is, wherever it's hidden. So to do that, we go to radio and I'm going to send out a string. And if you remember from the last video, it was looking, it was listening for that string and we had the word search. So when you press A, this sends out the string search. Now the other micro bit, if you remember, when it finds when it hears the word search, it sends back a string, violin. So we now need to listen to see if we get any response from any nearby hidden micro bits. So I'm gonna go back to radio and I'm gonna have on radio received string. And like before, we know we've received a string, but we need to check what that is. So we're gonna use if to see what it is. And again, I want to go to my equals block. And again, I need to use this variable. So I'm going to go to variables and have received string in there. And again, I need to type a string into here. So I have to go to text, drag this text box out. And if you remember from the last video, the reply from that micro bit was the word violin. So if it receives violin, it knows, yes, there's some violin nearby. I'm speaking to another micro bit that has violin on it. And if it does, what we need to know is how close is that micro bit? We don't just want to know yes or no, there's something nearby. We need to know how close it is. And to do that, we're going to do that via a number. And if I go to basic and show number, and the number we want is the signal strength. So I just go to radio, and this one is under more. Sometimes you're looking for something, you think it's not there, you forget you've got this more tab here. And it's this one. Once that's in, I'm going to change it from time to signal strength. And what's this doing? 
is it's going to be listening it hears violum and it knows how strong that signal is the closer the other micro bit the stronger the signal so if we get a number here that's showing it's a strong signal then we know that the other micro bit must be close by and that's pretty much it that's all the code we need so I'll leave you to save that and to download it onto your micro bit and then you can use both of those micro bits to play the violum hunting game